sitting here on uh, this beautiful truck. It's uh, part of a roadshow by uh, Relayer, a uh, company that helps industrial businesses remain resilient in the modern industry environment. I will be talking to co-founder and chief evangelist uh, of New Solutions, um, Mr. Jackson Bond. I can't believe uh, I'm meeting someone uh, with such a cool name, Mr. Bond. Um, could you tell us a little bit about um, what you're doing at this event, uh, what the Roadshow is about? Um, so we at Relayer are focused on currently educating the industrial um, equipment makers and equipment servicing companies uh, around opportunities for building new, more resilient businesses where they would take machines, for example, and provide those as a service, some, much like a subscription model, so that they can capitalize on more of the, the value chain uh, and the usage of that piece of equipment and provide, for example, new types of guarantees uh, for the performance of those assets. Um, they can reduce the servicing costs of those assets reduce spare parts, um, in inventory costs associated with those assets, uh, all at the same time ensuring that they're performing to their, uh, to their utmost to deliver the products that their end customers need and want. This sounds like a great uh, model for scalability. Um, do you find that um, mainly um, uh, medium-sized enterprises are interested or uh, also large enterprises that need to maybe uh, uh, cater for seasonal fluctuations, etc.? Both. Uh, Mid-sized, small and large companies are actually very interested in this. Some, um, act, you know, I should probably mention, uh, have already started this and been doing this for quite some time to some degree, like Rolls-Royce, for example, with their famous power by the hour model around uh, engine turbines or engines for uh, air, airports or air, uh, airplanes. Um, but now, because of the, the technology available uh, at the you know, price points available uh, and the cost of basically the commoditization of data storage and, and to some degree data analytics, these types of models become accessible to small, medium-sized enterprise and also, also large enterprise. But you're exactly right. The, the, the notion of resiliency, particularly in COVID periods, in this crisis period and financial crises, makes it a lot more interesting um, and um, predictable revenue. If you have a five-year subscription contract or a 10-year subscription contract, um, and then you know that you're going to be paying a lot less over that period of time um, as a user of the equipment on a monthly basis than you would if you bought the entire piece of equipment at once. Um, yeah, so absolutely interest we're seeing um, across industries, across verticals, uh, across regions, uh, both in, in the Americas as well as in Europe. You mentioned 2020. Um, that year has been disruptive, I think, for, uh, for all of us, for pretty much any, everyone on the planet. How has it uh, influenced uh, the demand and um, the need for uh, equipment as a service? Yeah, good, good question. I think we're seeing there's a lot more awareness and interest in these models currently because primarily driven by the exposure or the risk exposure that these machine makers or machine servicers now have uh, for two reasons. One, uh, the capex limitations. Many of the end buyers or the end customers who would normally invest and buy machines are now capital constrained, so they're not investing in the capex, which of course has a direct effect on the on the makers. So they're losing revenue. The second thing would be the um, the disconnect between the servicing companies who are no longer able to physically visit a local site um, to do the repairs necessary. And so the importance of having remote access to data and remote monitoring and being able to predict failure and uh, ideally provide over the air updates to those machines, uh, provide guidance to the, the operators on site and their, their teams. 
um, you know, the current crisis has exposed these these vulnerabilities uh, for a lot of companies. Um, and so now, yes, these types of models are becoming more and more uh, attractive. So, uh, in other words, you're helping companies keep on trucking, huh? <laughs> yes, in a word, well put, yeah. <laughs>